Kitchen. Welcome to another episode of Taste Bud Kitchen. My name is Amazing Grace. If you are just joining us for the first time, you're welcome. And for my old church members, thank you for always staying true. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your likes. I love you guys so much. So guys, today I'll be teaching you how to make white soup. A fair fairy. Oh yeah, I forgot something. It's still my best one, guys. I was born on the 16th of April. April babies, yeah. So if you have anything in mind you want to prepare and you are finding it very difficult, guys, let me know in the comment section. Let's do it together. Let's cook it together. So bring it up and I'm going to help you out with it. It's a birthday bonanza. So I've got your back. So guys, today we'll be doing white soup. So for white soup, the Ibibios knows it as a fiai fairy, while the Ibos knows it as open salad. But the general name for everybody is white soup. So guys. Whichever way you call it, white soup, a fair fairy, offen salad is all correct. So guys, today we'll be making white soup, guys. Stay tuned as I will be taking you through the process of making white soup. I love you guys. So for my white soup, I have my ingredients. I have my beef. I have my periwinkle. It's neatly washed and cut. I have a mackerel fish. So I couldn't get the smoked mackerel fish. I just got the fresh one. I've washed it and um, it's yet to cook. I have my uzizali. I have um, onion. I have some yellow pepper. I have my yam for ticking. I'm going to use it to ticking the soup. I have panla fish. I have stock fish or okuruku. I have blended crayfish, seasoning powder, salt, and black pepper for my steaming. So, guys, I'm going to start the cooking now. Stay tuned. So, guys, um, right now I want to steam my uh, meat these fish and my stock fish so in my last video I know I told you guys you can choose to separate your stock fish so if you want it to be very very soft but tonight I'm just going to like add everything I've already added it together I just want to steam everything together so it's a choice though if you want your stock fish and your pomo to be very very soft like you want that softness so you choose you, you have to like separate it but if you just want to like run everything together steam everything together can still do it so this night I'm just going to like steam everything together I'm not separating them so right now I've added onion seasoning powder um, salt some pepper and I'm going to add water to steam it so I'll cover it now and I'm going to allow it to cook so guys while my meat is cooking I'm just going to like prep my other ingredients down so I'm going to start by um, slicing my yam and then I'll wash it down for cooking. So yam is really expensive these days. Like I don't know if it is it, expensive as well in your area. Okay, so I'm just going to like peel my yam now and get it ready. I don't like buying yam that is stressful to cut. Just go with the one that is simple. And then couple with the fact that yam is very expensive in the market now. It's really crazy. Like, I don't know. Everything is just so expensive. But we'll survive. So I love buying white yam. Whenever I'm buying yam in the market, I always ask and ask. Hope it's white yam. Hope I don't like all these colors yam. Time you feel it, everything will turn for you. Ta -da! So, my meat is ready now. I'm going to bring it down and set it aside and get ready to cook another thing. So, cook with me. So, guys, next is my yam. I'm about to boil my yam. So, the quantity of your yam for your white soup depends on. Um, the quantity of the soup you want to make if you if you want your soup much then you have to like um, um peel more yam like you have to like boil more yam for the thickening because it's the thickening that is going to like give you the original um taste and look of that ufen salad or white soup so if you want plenty soup if you have um, a large family and you want to make more soup you have to like boil plenty yam so i'm just going to boil my yam now i like to cook very well till it gets soft then i'll bring it down and pound it stay tuned guys up next is my pepper i'm about pounding my pepper now so i'm just going to like do it this way i prefer using yellow pepper for my um white soup because there's this unique taste 
it gets to soup. But if you don't have yellow pepper in your area, you can choose to use any pepper of your choice and use the red one, it's optional. So it's, the test is, is still going to be the same though. So I'm done pounding my pepper. I'm just going to like remove it and set it aside. So you know that your yam is ready when your um, fork can go inside like right now it's ready it's very very cool so i'm going to bring it down and pound it i'm gonna buy white yam when you want to make your white soup you get why So you pound it very well. You pound your um, yam very well till you don't have any seed left. And you know that it is ready. The thickener is ready to go down. So this is how to do it. Come on, why well, have all doesn't know how to pound yam? <laughs> so this is how to do it. And my thickener is ready now. So I'm going to like take it off and add it to the pot. So guys, I've transferred my um, meat into a clean pot. And now I'm going to add my thickener. That's my pounding yam. I'm going to cut it lungs by lung and add it. This white soup, just like the name, you don't need oil for it. I'm not going to use any oil. It's just going to be like this. So I told you earlier that your thickener, which is the yam, depends on the quantity of soup you want to make. So now I'm not going to add everything. I'm just going to keep this aside just in case. Uh, my soup is too watery then i will add it again but if it's too thick i mean that's i'm i don't want it to be very very thick that's why i'm remaining it now so i'm just going to like leave this one aside so up next is going to be my crayfish and then my pepper my onion optional I know lots of people do not eat onion, but I love onion in my food and it's healthy. So for those of you that don't eat onion, I don't know what to say. So guys, up next I'm going to be adding the stock. I'm using the stock to make this soup for a proper taste. I'm just going to transfer it now. Yeah. So next is going to be a little salt, seasoning powder. So I've added everything. So I'm just going to stay to so everything we mix together and I'll like to cook. So the water is not enough. I'm going to add more water. Now I like so guys, a quick one. Right now, I'm going to be adding my periwinkle. I use the one with shell. I want, I, want, I want to be busy when eating this soup. I want to give myself work. So that's why I decided to use this one. But if you don't love periwinkle, you can choose to like cook your soup without it. So 
guys a quick one i forgot telling you how to wash your periwinkle when making your soup or when you want to use it to like prepare your meal so um there are two ways to like wash your periwinkle the first one is um after cutting it you can use salt and water to like wash it but if you don't want to like use salt and water you can also wash it then after washing it to remove those slimy things you can boil it when you boil it everything is going to come out but i personally prefer to like use salt and water to wash it thoroughly like i can wash it for like seven to eight times and then i'll eat all those um, slimy things are going to be out so that's that Bam, bam, bam. So guys, we are here again. So remember I told you I I, I remained some pando, the pando yam. That's our thickener in case my, my soup is very watery. So in this way, I don't like the way it is. Like it's not it's not thick to my taste. Maybe some people can prefer it like this. So I'm just going to bring it again and add to it. So thickens very well. So I'm going to add it again. Now I'm adding everything. So I measured my quantity very well actually. So now I'm going to allow it to cook again so that the ones I added, the, this last one I added is going to dissolve too. So while my soup is cooking, I'm, I'm still going to prep this down, my last ingredient, because it's almost time to add it. I'm just going to chop it to tiny So this is it. It is okay now. These are your open salad should look. So you, you can add your ingredient. Now you can choose to add salt or seasoning powder if it's necessary. And then you add your leaf. The Uziza leaf, your last ingredient. So now I'm adding my Uziza because the soup is ready. I will allow it to simmer for like 3 minutes and then my soup is ready to bring it down. Ta so guys, my soup is ready. I'm serving it now. So bring your favorite swallow. Come to taste board kitchen have a taste of this soup so guys we have come to the climax of our cooking today for today thank you so much for staying all through thank you so much for your subscription thank you so much for your likes thank you so much for your comments i love you guys see you in our next video bye bye